In this era of political gridlock, it's easy to forget there was a time when America thought big and did big things. 44 years ago yesterday, an American became the first man to walk on the moon, fulfilling a promise that President Kennedy had made eight years before. That is our Face the Nation flashback. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. It was 1961. America had fallen behind the Russians in the space race, and the president issued a call to action. Get to the moon and do it fast. The Apollo space program became a national priority. In 1968, Apollo 8 successfully orbited the moon. But it was the crew of Apollo 11, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins who finally met Kennedy's challenge in June of 1969. What a moment. Man on the way to the moon. The mission was smooth sailing from the start, and after a four-day, 250,000-mile journey, Armstrong and Aldrin landed lunar module Eagle in the moon sea of tranquility. 30 feet down, two and a half, picking up some dust. Walter Cronkite, CBS News resident space buff, <laughs> was rendered temporarily speechless. But the moment we all remember came later that evening. Boy, look at those pictures. Wow. Armstrong is on the moon. Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American standing on the surface of the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. After nearly 22 hours on the moon's surface, Armstrong and Aldrin packed up and headed home. They arrived safely, of course, but their hero's welcome came through plated glass. Gee, you look great. You feel as good as oh, you look. You great. feel just perfect, Mr. Yeah. President. Yeah. A reminder of what this country was once capable of, reaching for the moon and getting there. Our Face the Nation flashback.